If you're like me and you're struggling to keep up with your upkeep of your helm, you can see I need to invest so much silver to keep this running. This is the fastest way to get silver. You can get about half a million to a million an hour. Uh, I just recently learned this method, so I thought I'd share it and get more eyes on the topic. So simply, all you want to do is you want to head to this location on the map right here that you see me. And it is the Dutchman's Camp. When you're at the Dutchman's Camp, you want to go ahead and you want to head up this ramp right here. It could be here where the road trader is, but you want to find the road trader. And it's in this case, it's just round here to the left and through this like alleyway cavern or whatever you want to call it. There's a rogue trader, trader just sitting here at the end. Now, if we go up to this rogue trader, rogue, road, road, rogue, we'll go and talk. And you can see they have got brandy for sale and quite a lot of it. And they have got gin for sale and yet again, quite a lot of it. Now, they sell quite a lot of bundles and I can't buy any more because I've just brought out all of the stuff that they have. But here's the trick. So what you want to do is you want to press start. You want to go ahead and quit to main menu, but to make sure that you haven't duplicated your server when you come back, you need to leave it for about 30 seconds. But you can see I've got the, the Langya number one dude and AA anonymous. So that's the way I'm going to refer it to see if I haven't logged back into the same server. I'll just quit to main menu. Once you're back here at the main menu, you just want to give it a few moments. Um, preferably 30 seconds but i'm going to try and do it a little bit sooner just for your eyes so you can see it a little bit easier if you are on xbox i would honestly recommend you go and turn crossplay on for this just so there's a lot more servers and that way it it makes it a little bit uh, faster and easier for you to get a new server i'm going to leave it there i'm going to go back into continue that should have been long enough it might not have been it's normally 30 seconds but i'm just going to go ahead and hit continue right here and uh, i'm going to go and just look in the social tab to see if we are in a new server. Actually, better yet, I don't need to. I'll just click straight on the Rogue Trader and uh, show you that way. So now we're back here. Let me run up. Well, um, I'll do it just so I don't have to run up. If I go here, we can see we are not in the same server. I'm going to run up the top here. And once I'm up here, I'm going to go looking for that Rogue Trader yet again. And you can see that just around this corner here, over here, is the Rogue Trader bam and they'll have a load more inventory yet again at a reduced price there we go so we got a load more brandy and we got a load of wine this time you can literally rinse and repeat this i'll do this one more time just so you can see if i quit be careful with how many times you do this as well uh the only reason i say that is because when uh if you run out of silver well, then you're not going to be able to fast travel. You need to be able to fast travel to sell everything that you've just obtained to be able to make the bucks to keep rinsing and repeating this. We'll yet again give it another, what, 10, 20, 30 seconds. I'm just going to let this steering wheel turn from the right to the left once more. That's my way of indicating that it's done enough. You can see that left thing. As soon as it stops and goes to rear back to the right, there we go. I'm going to go back in. And as soon as we've loaded back in, we're going to run straight back up to the Rogue Trader. But remember that Rogue Trader can be on the right or it can be all the way up on the left, um, which is the location it's currently in that I'm showing you. But don't be fooled. It can be on the right and it can be on the left. It does change around. So, um, it, yeah, it's just, it's just one of them. Let's go ahead and head back up to that Rogue Trader right now. So they're not here on the right. And they're not going to be on the right. It, they, it resets, I think, once a day to a new location so it's it's only over there or here but they've always got that material for you to buy it's only one arrow down so there will be better places to do this but this is the best place right now based on my studies but if we go over to this road trader we yes. talk we can see let's trade and this time they've only got gin but we're going to buy the gin i'm going to do one more myself but i'll skip this one here we go. I'm loading in for my last time. Now, the location you want to go to sell this typically is in free spots. But also while you're going around doing your bits and bobs and you're seeing items, try and keep an eye out for where you see the double green arrow up to sell. And then also when you see the double green arrow down is when you want to buy so you want to buy low sell high obviously but there's some locations like this one where it's always 
the same situation. And when you're running through here, you can grab the cannonballs, torpedoes, whatever you want. I believe this is other people doing the exact same thing that I'm doing. A lot of people are going to be milking this for as much silver as possible until they trade... Uh, change this method i'm going to go ahead and buy a load of paintings look we bought 25 paintings now i've got 4k so i'm going to go ahead and fast travel from here so what we do is we fast travel and from here the spot where i know i can sell the gin was actually here for double arrows but i'm not going to do it so that's only because that's a random there's a there's a corrupt camp company camp which do buy it um the gin but the spot that you actually want to go is here cam and grove if I fast travel here, well, let me just show you, just so I can give you an example of this one here. If I fast travel to the Obelite, you can see here where I took a mental note earlier that they're buying the gin really high. Don't go to the first trader. I mean, it's possible that the first trader can have it, um, so it's always worth checking. Sorry, it's not there. Maybe the, the trader was here and I completely ran past it. Yeah, the trader was here. I, I literally ran past it. Like a donut. Let me just check to see if they've got any supplies. No, they haven't. Okay, so this guy right here is buying gin high. So if I go to let's trade and I go to sell, you can see that I've got the double arrow up on the gin. Now what I do is I go and sell that. There's 20,000 sold. So I've already made a huge profit on just the bit that I started with. Then I'm going to fast travel and go over to Camon Grove just to show you the same thing. So I'm going to fast travel over there. Now I haven't got any gin on me, so I'm not going to be able to show the gin here. But this guy is not the one to buy it high. He does buy the paintings high though here, this guy. So you sell the paintings to this guy. And then you want to head in straight through here to the left is where you have the other rogue trader you want to simply talk to this rogue trader and here where you can sell the gin unfortunately i can't sell the gin because i've already sold the gin but that's a double green arrow or there is another trade spot over here which you might have other items on you as well so if you're doing this run and you want to clear your commodities off you could it's it's quicker if you turn right at the beach but for for the purpose of sakes of this video i'm just going to head from where I was, straight over here, down to the right. And there is another shop here. Normally, there's another shop. It might not be here right now because you can see the company here. And where the company are, they're, these normally buy gin really high as well. But we want to sell the wine. So I'm going to go and show you where the wine gets sold really high. So let's talk to this dude. Let's trade. Sell. Okay, so I can't sell anything to him because it's gin again. You'd be to him. This fast travel. And the last location to go for the fast travel is heading all the way up to the East Indies. And you want to go not to this one with the boxed out area. You want to go to this one here, which is the Lost City of Prey. Or Pre, Pre, Pre. I don't know how you pronounce it. Head up here. And once you are here, you want to head. So you can obviously check the guy at the dock, remember, with the stuff that you've got. This person is not going to give me the best deal. Oh, ran through him. So buy and sell, if I go over to sell, no good deals. So normally these don't give you the best deals they can, but they're not normally. I'm going to head all the way up over here to the back. Now in order to find a camp when you're at one of these locations, is you simply want to look for a little smoke trail in the sky. And that means there's a cook pot there, and that means that's where the smoke is. That is where the camp is, so you don't get confused when you're in here. Um, if you do see a lot of smoke, then it's that thing back there that we just went past. But typically they're down here to the left, you can see... It's a clan tribe here. Let's go to the rogue trader here. And I should be able to sell my wine to this rogue trader. So let's quickly just talk to her. Hello. Let's trade. Great for me because I can buy these while they're low. So I will do that. There's not a lot though. So not great. And here I can sell. Sorry, my brandy. I can sell my brandy here. And I've got another 17,000. There you go. I'm up to 45,000. All you've got to do is keep rinsing and repeating this and you can get absolutely millions worth of silver. So guys, hopefully this video helped. Um, like, follow, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.